Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Sandra Jones. This week we are gearing up for upcoming arrivals and departures to the International Space Station, but first we're monitoring our planet as a warming trend continues. On Tuesday, NASA announced that July 2023 was the hottest recorded month on record since 1880. This is due in part to a pattern of increasing global temperatures, primarily from human emissions of carbon dioxide. The space station helps provide a wealth of data to monitor climate change using three main platforms. Multiple Earth observing instruments mounted on its exterior, a platform for deploying Earth observing CubeSats, and windows that astronauts use to take photos of the planet. The Orbiting Carbon Observatory 3 investigation aids in observations of the complex dynamics of the Earth's atmospheric carbon cycle. Running since 2019, the OCO3 investigation measures and maps carbon dioxide from space in great detail, improving our understanding of the interaction between carbon and climate. OCO3 measures and maps carbon dioxide with such high spatial resolution that, combined with the value dataset of its predecessor, OCO2, helps paint a detailed picture of human and plant influences on the carbon cycle and, in turn, the climate. We look ahead at what is shaping up to be a very busy week when it comes to space station traffic. First up will be a cargo resupply vehicle undocking on Sunday. The ISS Progress 83 cargo craft will undock from the aft port of the Zvezda service module before harmlessly burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. Then just two days later, on August 22nd, the ISS Progress 85 cargo craft will launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The uncrewed Progress cargo spacecraft will arrive to the space station on August 24th. Then just one day later, four humans are slated to launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida as part of NASA's SpaceX Crew-7, the next operational spaceflight mission to the orbiting lab. Following Crew-7's launch and arrival to the space station, they will complete a handover period with Crew-6, who has been on board since March. They're scheduled to return back to Earth in early September. You can get the space traffic report and more anytime on nasa.gov. But for now, that's all for Space to Ground. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.